This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Dungeons 3. Alright, so when we last left off, we almost had the overworld up here conquered and uh, you know what, I think we're going to go up there and just uh, just finish it off. It should be relatively easy if we take pretty much the whole, actually you know what, uh, I think I'm just going to take the whole army. I'll take my chances, we'll grab everybody and uh, just dump them all in here. If you just hold down your uh, right mouse button, you dump them all at once. So, you know, quick and easy to grab everybody and then dump them all. All right, so we just have this this right here. Uh, where's that? Right here. This should be our last one. So I'm just going to hit F and click there and just let them do their thing. And yes, it's F because you can move around with the, the camera with the W, A, S, and D keys. And attack is F, which is kind of weird. But yeah, so because uh, I'm used to like RTS, like attack being A. But uh, yeah. So we're just going to uh, follow our guys through here. We'll watch them and uh, see how they do. They should, I don't think they're gonna run into too much trouble. I do wanna go up here and get this book though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave them go. I'm gonna grab her and I'm gonna run up here and try to find this book. Cause I want her to have it, whatever it is. I want her to be like so insanely OP that she can just kill everything. Cause I think if she dies, she respawns. So, um, so it's no big deal, even if she does die. And there are some creatures that can never die. Like your undead, once you summon them, they're there. They, when they die, they just go back to the grave and then they regen health and then they're good again, which is one of the reasons I like the undead more than I like the horde. Uh, how did I get over there? Okay, let's go up this way. And they're going to continue on over here making their way to whatever this is. They should be able to handle it, I think. Let's just make sure they attack this lady first. These guys, the dwarves, when they throw down those things, oh man, they're freaking rough. Okay, get that one out. Kill, kill this lady here. Yeah, good, kill her. Oh, maybe I couldn't go that way. All right, well, just, why aren't you not going this way? Go this way. Oh, we didn't get it. And the destructive evil Come on. Had succeeded in destroying Twistrum and the surrounding area. Good. No longer existed in this land. Oi! What uh -oh. the hell happened here? Um, uh, apparently not quite all of the good guys were defeated. The dwarven king Grimly, an old drinking buddy of Thanos the Paladin, was just touring the country with his exorbitantly large army to ensure everything was in order. Thank God the foresighted evil had provided for this contingency. The dungeon heart was charged with evilness and enough energy to act as a teleporter. For Talia, of course. Uh, only her. Good. Then all the best, brave warriors, and stop them! Right! I'm out of here! With a plop, Tanya dissipated and disappeared to a far away and safe place. The rest of the sacrificing evil's creatures looked astonished as their general fled, but only for a moment, as they already found themselves facing an unpleasant army of good. This is the work of that damn pointy-eared wench. I always warned Thanos that those miserable dark elves couldn't be trusted. Criminals, the lot of them. But enough is enough. Go to find that shifty wench and use her ears as bookmarks. Dang. Well, that sucks. We didn't get that book, but oh well. To the campaign! After her hasty departure, Talia now found herself a few kilometers, or miles, yards, or stone throws, depending on whatever crazy units are used where you are, away. She had managed to escape Grimly's forces, even if one or two evil creatures had to die. But hey, that comes with the job. The incredibly foresighted evil hadn't brought Talia here for nothing. The ancient Gehenna stones were nearby. Thanos once banished some demonic minions to hell and used these ancient magic relics to seal them there. Unfortunately, it was unclear how these seals could be broken. I was there back in the day when Thanos banished the demons and sealed the stones. I can open them! But should I really do it? These and earthly beings terrorize the land and... Oh, shut up, good Talia! So, you know how to open the seal. Excellent! Devious evil is obviously nobody's fool. It all feels like a real plan. I just have to get through to the seals. Then I can open them. 
but I need protection from the Elemental Guardians while I do so. Hmm, okay, that should be doable. Get Talia to the seals, guard her while she opens them. First, however, it would definitely be a good idea to build a powerful dungeon in order to be prepared for any heroes stationed in the area. All right, this looks like it's going to be fun. We're going to get demons. Heck yeah. I mean, it's not undead, but demons, they regen too. You just need mana. They uh, they use mana to regen. So I guess the more mana you have, the faster. I don't know. I haven't played with demons a whole lot. They didn't really appeal to me as much as the undead undead did. That's a mouthful. Say undead did three times really fast. Okay, so we're just going to start uh, the usual harvesting, you know, as much gold as possible. Clearing out rooms, all of that good stuff. We already started with a really nice treasury here. Got some uh, nice sized gold vein in the middle of it. I want to hit up all of these as well. Start expanding the dungeon. We're going to go this way. And we're going to carve this out. You know what? Let's just carve our first room here like that. Yeah, that looks like a decent sized room. So that can be our... Um, oh, we need to do some research. We need to get the horde up in here. Oh, now we have a bunch more. There's another one that ends up up here and some more down here. But we have a lot more. We can do traps and stuff now, which is nice. And we can start getting demons. Um, apparently, the vortex is the demon room. Nice. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's start off with the hideout. You have to research that. And let's get... Oh, we need... That's right. We need the evil for the... Ah, oh, we need so much evil. All right, well... Just hide out it. You know what? You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the demons too. We have the gold for. Well, now let's wait. Let's. I don't know why I keep clicking out of that menu. We definitely need that, and uh, we definitely need some more of these guys. So let's get a couple more of them, and let's expand our creatures till we need evil. So now we can have seven. Okay. So let's see how this goes for now. Let's roll with this. And we'll start clearing out some rooms, start getting some stuff going, and let's go continue to go this way. So the way we did the gobbler room the last time, I kind of liked. We did like this type thing, and it actually like you pass through the room to get to other rooms. I, th I thought that was neat. And um, we'll do this. We'll come out through here, and we'll come out through here, and then bring that no i don't want to delete it i want you to bring it across there we go and this room here this is going to be our hideout room so let's grab the old hideout start filling that in mine faster you little snots well there's a ton of gold over here look at that that's nice there were disgustingly good places near the dungeon which would look much better as islands of evilness instead especially since that evilness could be used for new technologies what is that unbearable <laughs> place doing right in front of my dungeon? That's Disgusting! Hilarious. Creatures advance! Destroy that thing! Oh, are you sure you want to do that, Talia? Shouldn't we sit down in a circle and talk about it one more time? Mm, are you still here? Honestly! Can't you see? I'm busy destroying everything that is good. I don't have time for this disassociative identity order nonsense. Stop doing the Therese and Jeanette thing. <laughs> She's really struggling with herself. It's kind of hilarious. Get in there and kill those spiders. The old spider pit. Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to clear this out here just to get the gold, but then I'm going to fill that back in, and this whole chunk here needs to go, and this chunk here? Yeah, let's get rid of that. We'll make this something. I don't know. Figure out something to make it, because I can expand the treasury down this way, which is what I'll do. And let's get this gold here. Yep, get that and that. And you need to get over to that somehow. Let's just, yeah, we'll fill it back in after the fact. Okay, so next step, we got our horde layer. We need a demon. Oh, you know what? We can clear this out and There's make this the demon area. There's something funny going on around here. My knee is itching where I caught that arrow. Men, check it out. The presence of Tanya <laughs> and the <laughs> conspicuous evil army had not gone undiscovered. 
and the first miserable heroes were already on their way to the dungeon. Where we will, of course, welcome them appropriately. Move, you lazy dung beetles! Get ready! You always have to be so unfriendly. I mean, really. Can't we just talk about this? I know this really good psychiatrist and... Don't force me to hit myself! Um, yes. As our protagonist sank into one of her disputes with herself, the heroes spread across the surface. A vortex could now be built. This excellent room makes it possible to create direct access to hell by means of teleportation, or the gun from Portal, in order to hire funny, or sometimes not so funny, demons. The very curious evil soon began to build one of these vortexes. The first vortex was finished. Here, demons could be hired or resurrected after their inglorious death for a tiny fee of mana. Mana? But... But I don't have any mana. Oh, that's true. Ah, um, uh, yes. But luckily, uh -oh. the Gehenna stones produced We're being exactly attacked. that. What a wonderful coincidence. Everybody get over there. You guys were doing a crap job at defending the dungeon heart. We're already being hit. Where were you at? Where were all my freaking minions? Like three little guys over here beating the crap out of my heart. I wasn't paying attention because I was listening to the narrator. As you can tell, that's the reason I stopped talking when the narrator speaks because I think it's hilarious and I like to listen to the storyline and they do a lot of talking. I really like that a lot of this is voice acted. It's really great. And I like that they interrupt and talk every now and then and just, you know, say random things. How Talia argues with herself and all of that stuff. There is a ton of gold over here. It's just gonna have to get mined out. We're gonna mine, let's just go that way through here. Yep, get that, and then come over here and get that. I just, I, I can't stand seeing it there and not mining it. <laughs> I know you guys are probably laughing at me and like, you're just gonna fill it back in, just leave it. You got that infinite, or you know, that one over there, it's not infinite, but it's got a lot in it. Um, but yeah, it just it drives me crazy. I can't stand just seeing them there and then not mining them. Oh, look at that, that's fancy. All the way over there to the, the old demon portal. All right, let's fill this area in. And yes, I care what my dungeon looks like. I know, you can make fun of me in the comments if you want. Okay, so our horde room here, that's an okay size. We need to get some demons up in here. We have our demon room, but we haven't hired any yet. What can we hire? We can get some imps. All right, let's get two imps, yeah. Good, that's great. All right, so we got two imps. What's our what's our horde count looking like here? We got two of those guys. I really want the Naga. I wonder if we can... Hmm. I'm gonna save my last two slots. We might be able to do it. Let's grab everybody. I just clicked the wrong one. We wanna grab everybody and drop them in the old portal here. Let's head to the top because we really need to get some evilness going. And where's that first one? First one's right here, right outside the door. Ooh, this might be close. All right, let's get this lady first. Skip those guys, go straight for the mages. Go straight for them. Yeah. Oh, somebody's fragile. The demons. Oh, we're not gonna do it. Nope. Back out, back out. Everybody run. Nope. The worst part is, is I think they're gonna follow me right into the dungeon. Yeah, you know what? We can't. Oh, are they gonna kill that guy? Okay, yeah, you stay behind. Stay behind, sacrifice him. No, stop it. Stop changing my camera. Okay, good, they're going back. Okay, we're gonna need way bigger force. That was brutal. Took a bit of a beating. Oh, who's stuck over here? Somebody was glitchy. Uh, let's... Uh, we don't have any mana to reheal the one guy we lost either. All right, let's try this again. Let's hope that everybody's good enough to, to go up here and attack. All right, drop them all in there. Head to the top. And I don't know if this is a big enough force, but we're about to find out. Come on over this way. We gotta get rid of this healer first. Hey! Oh, no, here's one. She's by herself. Awesome. Oh, she's gonna go down. Easy. Oh, yeah. You're dead. Now let's get this one. 
Skip those guys and get that lady. Yeah, get her. Kill her. Kill her! Yeah, now kill all the other guys. Oh, demon, those imps are so squish squish. They die so fast. Get this guy. Get him. Nice. Delicious evilness dribbled into the Okay, now we now we're talking. Now we got some evil going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Excellent idea of completing one or two new research projects. Nope. You guys are gonna have to die. This is my evil. My evil. You can't have my evil. Now we're gonna become really OP relatively quickly. Because uh, evil gives us a heck of a boost to our research and stuff. Okay, so who are we leaving up here? We're gonna leave you up here, you up here, and you. And you, and the rest of you can come back down to the dungeon. And we should be good now. Okay, let's try to get some research. We got 200. Uh, no, I don't want to research Talia. I want to research... Not the guard room. I want the Naga. Definitely. Oh, uh, we gotta get the guard room so we can start laying out traps. So I guess we're getting the guard room. Now we need a hundred more, so we just have to wait patiently. Uh, let's put... Let's, let's dig out that gold. And let's dig out... Uh oh, what is this? Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to... You know what? I'm not even dealing with those guys right now. Let's just, uh... Fill that right in there, like that, and not not deal with that. And then what we'll do is we'll put how, how big does that guard room have to be? Guard room, where are you at? Two by two. So we'll just put a little two by two right there, and we'll make that a guard room. And that way, when they're coming around this way, the guards will see them and attack them. I'll tell you, get. No, I don't want to do that. I want I want you to get away from those. We're not dealing with those right now. Our little snot's gonna go in there. Oh, can he not fill? He can't fill it. Oh no, we have to fight it. We have to fight it. All right, let's grab everything that's in the dungeon and just throw it on over there. All right, everybody, here we go. Good luck. Um. Uh oh. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Get out of there. You need to defeat this hero. Yeah, drop her. Drop her. Who else is over here? Oh, this guy. Uh-oh, great. Now they're coming in the dungeon. Yeah, get ready. No, get ready to... No. No! Get. Whack, whack her. Yeah, there we go. Give him a slap, too. Did they go back? Okay, good, they went back. Whew! I thought they were gonna come into the dungeon. Okay. Did we lose our little imp guy? Oh no, goblin's still good, I think. Uh, we can't hire any naga. We do have enough evil that we should be able to upgrade to get... more... let's do one more? Okay. So we're at nine now. That should be good. We need a hundred to get the traps. I should have. All right, we're just gonna wait here. We're almost there. Come on, give me a little more evil. Okay. Uh, yes. Research that. Had researched the Tinkerer's cave. Yeah, I know. And we want a guard room right here. Traps and sturdy doors out of boring old toolboxes. And we cannot fill this in, so let's just go ahead and. Uh, destroy all that. Uh, I don't know. Do we have any, what traps can we build? We can make a, uh, we can't make any traps because we don't have, a uh, the one room we need. Let's see, where do we want to put that at? Let's extend our treasury over this way. And we need this workshop. So let's do, let's just put a workshop directly across from there. Like this. Yeah, that should be good. And uh, then we're gonna take this back here, mine out all of that. Yeah, mine it all out. And you know what? We can take this back here too and mine out all of this. Let's do that, that looks good to me. Yeah. Okay, so we'll let that go and 
I think we're all right up top. We're still gaining. Yep. Our guys are just hanging out and we're still gaining evil. I, I know as soon as I bring them down to the dungeon that we'll get attacked up top. These guys don't seem to be doing anything right now. They're just kind of hanging out here. So, I mean, I'm not too concerned with them. Uh, who do we got down here that I can grab though? Oh, we can actually get a Naga now. That's right. Let's grab two of those. And who's down here? I can, uh, oh, they're both dead and I don't have any mana. <sighs> I know you can find some mana, like you can find it by digging. We need... Is this all we can research? Okay, so I guess what we're gonna have to do for now for our demons is just kill them. So we'll just grab this guy, drop him in there, and you're done. Which kind of sucks because, I mean, then they gain levels and we can't, we can't keep them. But we don't have any way to generate mana right now. So we have no choice but to kill them. Okay. So now both of those are dead. Uh, I don't think I'm going to hire any more of those right now. They're just a pain in the butt and I don't want to deal with them. We need to get our machine shop or our workshop up and running. So let's put that there. And um, let's mine out that gold there. Mine over this way. We'll mine out all of this gold as well. And how are we looking? Oh, we got another big vein over here. That's awesome. Okay, so directly across from here is where I want to put the the Tinker's shop. Yeah, I think that looks okay. That should fit the, the Tinker's thing. It's kind of big, but it should fit it. Um... Yeah, that looks that looks really good. And we're just kind of we gotta wait till the little snots do everything they need to do. And let's grab everybody we can down here in the dungeon. Tunnel Who do we got? Do we got die. one? You know what? Let's let's drop them there. And let's go back and hire another one of. Let's hire two more of those guys. They're good for what we have right now and what we need, and we'll just drop everybody in here. Yeah, fight them. They're just bugging me being up there. All right, and I just noticed that, unfortunately, we are at our wrap-up time. So, uh, yeah, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you know uh, when I release a new episode. And that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout-out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy and you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching